hey you guys how are you it's a totally new day welcome welcome but it's like another vlog spending the day with me i just have a couple things to do remember when we last spoke i was getting ready to go to um g5 you know for that jada way to host thing which was totally lit i had such a good time like i had a really 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 good time i'm not gonna lie um I didn't vlog it because I was really in the moment and honestly my feet was hurting. I know I said I want to be comfortable literally all year round but like when I was shopping for those shoes like it was so last minute and I just grabbed the most cutest ones that would be more comfortable and not like um, just super like casual you know. My feet was hurting but overall we had a good time and that was that. Today I'm going to go to pretty girl curves because i need to get a new faha i literally just did my makeup um and honestly i know it's i'm just running out the house or whatever the case may be but i'm really into just like just waking up and having like a daily routine of just making myself like look good feel good like you know even if it's just like a slight little bit of makeup but you know sometimes like i'm a little extra so i put on a little bit more than i you know want to but um this makeup i have on you know it's my universal makeup look i kind of use the same type of products in every look i might switch up the lip color i'm going to tell you the lip color that i'm wearing today it is kiss smile and shine by lancome is this one right here super cute just like a really sheer hydrating lipstick and i just lined it with um chestnut by mac what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Faha today. I'm super hungry. I need some food in my belly because your girl is just starving. I just have on, um, I'm not fully dressed yet. I literally just have on a bra because I wanted to basically show you guys some of the items that I got. Um, the same day when I went to go do my toes and stuff, I had like picked up a little bit more stuff because I went to the mall and Basically, I didn't need an appointment, so I just took the time out to kind of like shop around and grab a few more things. I'm going to show you the bag that I got. It is from Aldo's. It was super cute, and I wore that to the club. Yeah, I went to a few stores in the mall. I went to Windsor, I went to Mad Rag, and I went to... I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was it in Aldo's. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to show you that real quick. And let me know if you guys, like, I don't know, like, I'm... I kind of want to do like try and hauls for like things that I buy at the mall and not just online. So I think I'm going to do that really soon. And just like how I'm a parent and things like that. But I got some really cute stuff. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to like put my clothes on um, first. So that way, you know, I'm fully dressed and I could just do this real quick. I am hungry. I need some food. I'm really feeling like I want some biscuits and gravies from this place called Dandy Donuts. It's right by my house with some coffee ever since i had that cafe con leche um i've been like craving the caffeine and i know it's like really addicting that's why i kind of stopped and i hadn't really had coffee in a really long time since literally before my surgery i hadn't had coffee so i'm a tea kind of girl tea drink lots of water so before we get started i want to show you guys this really cute bodysuit that i got from charlotte Russe. it's the one that i showed you guys in my um you know, when I went to the mall that other day to get my toes done, but that didn't end up happening. So I'm wearing like the khaki ones. I'm gonna show you. It's the ribbed ones, and I absolutely love my nails. Just oh, they're so cute and classy. I just put on my um, cross necklace, and yeah. So I'm gonna probably wear these with some leggings, and I don't know what like shoes. I'm thinking about my Converse today, but I'm not sure. This is the front area, this is what that looks like, and you guys already know it's a long back, so yeah, it's a mock neck, long sleeve bodysuit, which I love because, you know, it keeps your cakes sitting like, don't nobody got time to wear the grandma funny, the grandma penny bodysuit, so they're not cute. So, I have on um, one of the bras too from Mad Rag, I'm like, one of the bras, but no. I have one of the bras from Mad Rag. It's actually really comfortable and my boobs look really good in them and they just sit up nicely. The first thing I'm gonna show y'all is the bras that I got because I needed some really, I, I just needed more bras. I feel like um, 
the ones I had, I had already like went through them and like for me, I don't have super big boobs, so I don't have to get like really expensive bras to do the job. Um, the one that I have on came with this bra here. This one is super, super cute. And it's like a foam type material. It's really thin. It has like, it's basically like a seamless type bra. Um, what I like about this bra, like I don't know if you've noticed, but it has like that curve in the middle, like right here, it has that curve, it's not straight across. So that means it's not going to, um, you know like when you have a bra on, it just sits here and then like all your belly fat just bulges out to the front. It's not gonna do that because it is curved like that so it doesn't sit up on top, which I absolutely love that because I have a shorter torso so I feel like my bra tends to like like sit there. Like now that I've had like the life on stuff, it doesn't do that. but. I like it even better now because I have a bra that, you know, definitely doesn't do that. So it just makes me feel super comfortable and it's like basically seamless. You can't really see like the back fat bulging. So yeah, I have on a black one to this. It came with a black and like a blush tone. This was $12, so basically $6 each. They're padded. Cushiony. I like the cushion and I like when it's padded because I don't have big loops. So. I need pet it, period. Um, the next ones I got, these are so cute. I like love this. I don't know, it just reminds me of like, basically like the rib knit that I have on right now. It pretty much reminds me of that. It's like rib knit, like jersey type material bras. Like they're so cute. And I got them in like really cute basic colors. A blush tone pink, because y'all know my favorite color is pink. Um, a gray, and then it comes with a black. I'll show you guys up close what all three of those look like. But they're like that rib material. It's super, super cute. Um, and the bra size that I wear is a 36B. I was gonna get a 34B, but I was like, nah, I recently did my measurements and I'm still a 36, so that's what I am, a 36B. But they're so cute, Kathy Ireland Intimate. Like, these are more like casual bras, like in the house because they have that rib material you don't want to be wearing something and then it shows, like I don't know if it does, but these are really cute and comfortable. Absolutely love that one. I can't remember how much these were and I don't have the receipt, but they were really inexpensive. And like I said, like I don't have big boobs, so I really don't need bras that um, are super expensive. Although I do have a couple of expensive bras from Victoria's Secret and trust me, they last way longer than the inexpensive ones. But like I said, when you just need for then and there, like you're gonna get. This, this is what you need, okay? Like, all right, so this next item that I'm gonna show you is a really cute set. It is so cute. It's like that sage green. It looks gray on camera. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. It does look a little gray on camera. I don't know the material of this, but this one is like really, really like stretchy. Let me see if they have the material onto the tag. But this is 70% viscose. 20% cotton and 3% spandex viscose. I think that's like, this is what I'm feeling, but it's so cute. So, 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 so cute. This is basically like a crop sweater situation. It's so cute and um, I got this in a size medium for both. I was gonna get a small in the top. However, I was like, nah, this is for like my really comfortable days. I got some sweatpants to go with them and they're the sweatpants that are basically like cuffed at the ankle. Those are really, really cute and comfortable. And what I like about these, they do have pockets, so yes, you know, I love pockets. Um, this is real cute, just, you know, maybe running errands, some really cute sneakers. I feel like these are some really fly sneakers, so that's why I don't really want to just wear this, like, on a um, random day. Like, I just, I want to wear this, like, you know, when I have an outfit, outfit. So, I'm going to show you the next one. I got that one in a gray, and that one is super cute, and I just ordered some Converse's to go with those. They're the Converse's that are similar to the ones that I bought recently, but they're different. They're, like, the high-run star ones. So cute. Since I couldn't find the pink or the nude, I decided to get it in the gray one, and it's so cute when it gets here. I ordered it online from ASOS, so when it gets here, I will definitely show you guys what that is hitting for. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that um, that set was $9 a piece, so really, really, really affordable. Like, these feel like really thick and soft and just really good quality, to be honest. Um, it's crazy, because when the ladies put them out, I was like, 
especially when it came to the green one that that sage color one i was like um where's the top and she's like oh we get the top soon and she she didn't finish like merchandising them or whatever hold on y'all i'm just trying to like stick this little part back in there but um she wasn't finished like merchandising them yet so she couldn't put them out so i was ready i was pretty much i was ready to cash out i was like all right well i'm gonna get the rest of stuff and i'm gonna leave this little green one here and i'm gonna come back for it when she's done putting the stuff out so i guess she must have heard me and she was like oh are you what size should i get you so i was like oh girl bet yes thank you so i don't have to come back um you know because i don't really like staying in the mall too long i just like going in and out i already know what i want i already know what i want coming to get i don't just go to the mall to do like random shopping per se these are the gray ones they are super cute just super super um just casual really light again it has the cuff ankles as well and then the top is also that like crop top type of material and design it's real nice um also got this in size medium but let me show you and compare the colors like this is actual gray see like gray green so now you can see a little bit better on camera but yeah i love this type of like material very like casual just real chill so i got two of those and honestly i kind of want to go back and grab some more they had like a uh, navy blue which i'm not really interested in that one but they had a black which i was like why didn't i get the black because it's black you know um it's universal you can never go wrong black but those are the items that i got your girl is hungry i just had to drink some water to, like keep me alive because i was like <sighs> about to pass out so random guys but one day i'm gonna do a per like a perfume collection but i want to do a separate one for just specifically ooze. So ouds are like a perfumed oil, but it's really, really intense, and it's basically the highest concentrate of like a perfume. Like it's higher than a perfume. It is top tier. It's basically straight up oil. There's no like alcohol mixed to it. There's none of that. I had the oud oil, and I usually put it in my hair and stuff. And literally, I was blow drying my hair this morning, and I could still smell it. And even now, I could literally still smell it in my hair. It just smells so, so, so yummy. So I want to do a whole separate video on oud oils because I think you guys are really interested in that. And like whenever I wear oud oils, I get so many compliments. I remember the first time I, <laughs> the first time I wore oud oil, I went to go to my bud man's house to pick up, you know, a little something. So I remember like I'm running to his door because it's kind of drizzling and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm not trying to get wet in this rain. So there's another lady, she's running behind me and I just see running carrying and then like the jingle of the keys like Sweet. so i'm just like so she's like excuse me excuse me excuse me so i turn around like like did i drop something like hey how are you so she's like i just want to ask you like what perfume do you have on it smells so good so i was like oh da -da -da, it's the oud or whatever you can get it from da -da -da or whatever so yeah like it's intense it's intense like even when i go out and i'm in a club like this shit lasts all night long you like it literally lasts till the next day. This is two days later and like my hair still smells like that oil. It smells so good. But um, yeah, stick around because I'm about to talk to you for a little bit. Why am I dressed like this? You're asking because like I'm literally just going to get a fall off. However, remember I told you I wanted to talk to you guys about something? Well, I feel like when you want to be a certain way, you have to live in that and be in that. So I said, this year I wanted to, you know, this year I said, you know, I wanted to look the part, be the part, you know, achieve the part, if that makes sense. When you want things in life and you're manifesting things in life, you actually have to work towards it and be in that. So let's just say you wanted to, for example, be an influencer or be a makeup artist or whatever case may be, you have to start Think like a makeup artist, doing things like a makeup artist, um, sharpening up your skills as a makeup artist. You have to, as an influencer, start taking posts, like, you know, fashion posts, getting to um, what is really trending, different styles that are trending, like what people are into, what people like, you know, like you have to be that. So I say, um, for me, I definitely wanted to just set my game of this year when it comes to just dressing, because I remember when I was younger and I wouldn't say I had like less responsibilities, but pretty much I did. I felt like I had a lot of time on my hands to just like really like, you know, 
handle things like you know like just when it comes to handle things I mean like just putting yourself together sometimes when you work like a nine to five or you are just caught up in the everyday world sometimes you tend to you sometimes you tend to like lack on like yourself or just like your normal like routine and for me I used to love just waking up getting dressed although I was going absolutely nowhere it's just about feeling good looking good and just living in that and I said this year I want to be more um on Instagram and just more so posting like full body pics outfit pics like getting more into fashion because that's like something that I've always been into I just felt like I couldn't wear every single thing based on you know like my body type you know it's just certain things that you can work on and fix I feel like why not do it and I feel like if you don't like where you're at in life change it you don't have to stay there I seen this post on Instagram it was like um if you don't like where you are move you're not a treat like you don't have to stay in that same position like life is all about changing leveling up and just because you were a certain way doesn't mean you always have to be a certain way so if you know that you used to um I hear this a lot from like moms and stuff like that I don't have kids so I can't relate but I know what it what like I can relate to similar situations you know or similar scenarios for instance if you know you used to like dress up all the time and just always have yourself like self looking presentable like tidy just really put together when you stop doing that it makes you feel out of place and it just makes you feel like oh you fell off or you lost yourself and you never want to feel like that in life like I feel like I've always had this goal in my where it's just like I like to look good because it makes me feel good when I don't I don't feel good to be honest so it's like working out makes me feel good eating healthy makes me feel good doing my hair makes me feel good doing my makeup makes me feel good dressing nice it makes me feel good and accomplishing all of my goals makes me feel good thing if that makes sense you know so I feel like in life you have to do things that make you happy so regardless of people are like oh my god girl you are dressed so extra okay well this is me I'm extra this is me you know um and you can't change that for nobody you know um maybe you just need new friends <laughs> um maybe you need to surround yourself with women or men that um are in that same headspace as you that also want to look good feel good um accomplish great things in life and just be in a like-minded setting you know um if you are constantly hanging out with girls that are not up to par or just you know they don't handle themselves correctly whether it be like just when it comes to work ethic when it comes to just ambition when it comes to just maybe like maintenance in general because I feel like um every woman should know how to like do their makeup at least a little something just to you know like you should always be able to take care of yourself to give yourself a little pick me up and at the end of the day regardless of what um and find ways to do it without like spending too much money you know like yes we have makeup artists yes, we have stylists we have all those things to um help assist us however like on those days when you can't do it um what do you do something about starting a series is kind of like a level up series and it's basically gonna show you guys how to like dress um for like occasions just how to dress on a daily basis um how to do your makeup um how to look good feel good type of thing you know just how to like be your best self you know like your prettiest self your healthiest self your your most accomplished self if that makes sense so i feel like i've done it however it's like it wasn't like i was like oh well this is how you do it da, 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 da. it was kind of just like when you are something you just are something you just live in it and you be it there's no like oh well how to you know you don't look it up if that makes sense but i know there are some women out there that literally do have to look it up because they may not have been that type of person all along but like i said it doesn't matter like what you are at that moment it's like okay who can you be or like you know who you were back then it's like who are you now you know and even if you're at a place at now where it's like you don't feel as confident you can still get there you know if you really want it like you could try and do it so um yeah today i am dressed up because I just want to feel good you know I want to look good I want to feel good and it puts me in a better mood especially when I'm being productive as well so yeah I really want to just get into that more and be more consistent with it and trust me whenever I go out now like I always try to like 
dress up, look cute, do my makeup, even if it's just like a little something because it's like you're going out in public. You never know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna see, like you make interactions, connections all the time. So you never wanna be caught, like these days, slipping, lagging. Pretty much like how many times like have you went out looking busted, crusted, and you always run into someone you know, like <laughs> I can't tell you how many times. That has happened to me in the past and it's like it's like, you know, you don't look bad without makeup, but it's like, okay, you don't look like how you usually look, like your best, you know? So, and plus, I feel like when I dress up in my full on, you know, glam and all that, I feel most confident. So, yeah, we're gonna do like another series like that to like what makes you feel confident. And I don't mean that series, but like more like a little chit chat because I feel like um, this whole world of like baddies or whatever, and baddies is not just. Of being about like how you look or whatever the case may be or how you dress it's literally a lifestyle it's an attitude <laughs> you know um, basically being high value um, carrying yourself well for a young woman you know so all that and also what I have been getting into more is wearing perfume when you go out sometimes I'll just wear like a body spray or something like that and I've always been into perfumes but like I said I've been more into it recently and really like diving into the thing you know, Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> What's the other one? It's like, <laughs> but yeah, I've been getting, um, been really like wanting to just like be my best self and just you know do the damn thing. So wearing perfume, doing your makeup, just feeling like your best self. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't even have to be extravagant makeup it could just be like a little something whatever makes you feel confident the whole point is like that you look good and you feel good it doesn't matter what you look like next to somebody else like i mean it does depending on the setting or the event that we're going to it's like okay like you're underdressed sis <laughs> you know like there's a time for everything so so today is the perfume that i'm gonna choose to wear hmm. it's a daytime so i want to smell really pretty and light and not too sweet because I didn't eat yet. So also keep in mind like some perfumes like make your head hurt. So for me sometimes like some perfumes are really sweet so I try not to get perfumes that are really like overpowering especially when I'm hungry because I know I'm gonna get a headache. This one honestly is my favorite. I love this one for daytime. It's just really cute, really pretty and it makes me feel good. So yeah. I'm gonna spray a little bit of that. I always spray it like in my hair because when you like hug someone or like, you know, when you walk or, you know, girls are constantly flipping their hair, it's kind of like you want it to like whiff around. And when you spray it on your clothes, spray it, but not like too, too close because sometimes perfumes will, not sometimes, perfumes do have oils in them. So sometimes the oils may stain your clothes. So you don't want to do it like too close to where it's just like a spot. I've also had that before. And with this perfume, I like to spray a little bit more than I usually would because this doesn't last super long. To be honest, I want to switch my bag because the bag that I have is black and gray and I don't have nothing gray on. So I'm going to switch my bag really quick. And then I'm going to show you which bag I'm wearing because the bag that I got is actually one of the bags, um, was, is actually the bag that I got from Aldo and I wore that um, on Sunday night and it was really, really cute and it just gives me like YSL vibes. Aldo has really cute bags for like, I feel like it's a decent price, like 40 to like $80 range. I've even paid $90 for a bag, but um, this bag was only $60 and I got it on sale plus I bought like some little, um, bag cleaner for her, which I feel like was really good because when you're at the club you like constantly sitting your bag down and stuff so I did get like you know a uh, bag cleaner. This is the Doja and Cabana Garden perfume if I did not mention that already. Hey let me show you the bag. Pretty much I just bought you know their little bag cleaner. This is the Cleanse Natalie. I don't know. I'm sure. I think it was like $8. It comes with 15 wipes. I literally already used like four. <laughs> I literally already used like four of them on one bag, but um, I cleaned my bag and it did what I had to do. So this is the bag, it's super cute. It is like that leather, it's matte leather. It has like the 
uh, black hardware on it. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. It does come with like a little like zipper in the back. It comes with an um, extra strap. Like if you wanted to do like a little crossbody situation, you know, which is also cute because I feel like that's a little moment. You know, it just kind of like unlatches so it twists like this to open. Super cute. And then it has that. It has a little cute little pocket in the front here. It did come with this little fuzzy ball, but I'm not into these anymore. Like I really used to be into them when they first came out, but not anymore. Take all this stuffing out. I always keep the stuffing in your bags, guys, because you don't want your bags to get like smushed, you know, wherever you store them. I like them to stay nice and like fluffy. I like that it has like a little zipper in here. It has another little pocket in here. And then it has two little pockets here where you can just kind of like slide different things in there. And it's just really cute. And I'll be wearing it like this, you know, like, like that. That's the moment for me at least. So pretty much that is it you guys I just wanted to speak briefly on that and I'm gonna start a little series you know like on how to carry yourself and just how to dress and feel really confident and just be like the best you you know I think that'll be like really cool because believe it or not well I would say believe it or not like some girls do lack confidence and it's nothing on their part they just need to do things to make them feel confident so i feel like i can help in that department um and yeah of course i can't help everybody but i'm gonna try my best so yeah that was it for this quick little chit chat situation i don't know what you call this but i'm getting ready to leave the house now because i gotta go get my baja and yeah and i'm hungry so i don't want to hold my stomach up any longer so yeah like i'm gonna hold you my i'm gonna hold you but no we we are holding up so yeah, um, I'll do like a quick little like outfit in the mirror situation so y'all can see real quick, you know, got to. But yeah, if you are enjoying this so far, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys when I get to the Faha store, yeah? Or, no, or no. Hey y'all, so get into it, get into it. This is like the makeup look up close. Cute little outfit. Bam, bam, bam. And let me get in the mirror and show you guys real quick. So yes, y'all, that is it. And I will catch y'all later. Bye. All right, so we just stopped and got some Wendy's because, like I said earlier, I was hungry. Oh, hold on. It's like real bright. But um, I was hungry and I'm gonna eat now because it smells really good. And I like when my food is really, really hot. And you know, the, the grilled chicken is nice and <laughs> juicy. But yeah, we're on our way to Pretty Girl Curves. And yeah, that's about it. And pretty much I gotta be more punctual as they say, because to be honest, I've been had woke up. Like I've, I've been up since like 8 a.m. to be honest. But um, it's, it, yeah, I'm just not leaving the house, so yeah. Oh, it wasn't recording wow so i just said this whole piece and then it wasn't recording but like i was saying i just got to the faja place uh we can't touch the fajas so i'm gonna try my best to record in there so we'll see i'm getting my stage three faja so this will be like my final faja and then i'll just have to get things like altered and stuff like that hold on i thought i had to break but i didn't but yeah i'm gonna try to record it because i don't have help in there so yeah I'm, I'm gonna do my thing so bear with me if the camera's a little shaky and out of angle <laughs> if the camera's shaky out of angle <laughs> whatever he don't want to go in there and help me with my shit because he want to eat his little sandwich or whatever but yeah anyways Okay, so I'm at the Faha place on. I just had to put on some underwear because you can't try the Fajas on without no underwear. So I brought some extra underwear with me. Right now I'm about to try on the Fajas right now. Ooh, this cam this lighting makes my skin look so textured and so bad. But anyways, I'm about to try it on now. She said because my waist is so small and like my hip ratio. So I'm like a 47 in the hips. But then my 
waist is really small. My waist is like 25. So I think an extra large and just keep the rest for alterations. But the stage 3 vibe basically has the bones in them. And basically that's what it looks like. It's kind of like has like the waist cinching situation going on. So I'm about to try this on real quick. All right, so the bra fit, I needed her help a little bit because it was really hard to get on. But I had her help me put it on and pretty much just what it looks like. I'm going to show you all in the mirror. But I need to get it altered around the waist. girl i got my faha i'm so happy so um the reason why i didn't get it altered right then and there because i did have the option to get it altered literally right then and there however um if you get it altered there you have to basically pay in cash and i didn't have all cash on me and they only take debit or cash and i only had like my credit card with me or my um debit card so yeah, we, I would have basically had to pay for the alteration plus the Faha in cash altogether. So I didn't do that. I'm just trying to get the right lighting. But it's super hot outside. Um, yeah, I only really tried on one Faha because I'm really simple when it comes to stuff like that. Like, if it fits good, boom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop it off to uh, my girl Lucy at La Massage by Design. This, she's who I went to to get my first set of massages when I have first got, you know, my surgery and stuff. She's one of the ladies I was using, so I'm gonna go to her. She also charges $25, so it's not like I'm really taking an L or anything like that. So yeah, I'm about to head to Walmart because I need to get a few groceries and I also need to get a memory card that is like, you know, a higher gig so I can store my stuff because I can't find the extra one where I had at home. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Most likely, I'll see y'all when I get home because I'm not about to vlog in Walmart, okay? So all my surgery girls, if you're ever in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, definitely come to Pretty Girl Curls. They have two locations. They have one in Pembroke Pines, and they have one in Miami. So I'm close to two Pembroke Pines, so that's where I went. Um, yeah. This is their business card, and they also have an Instagram. It's down below. Today is going by pretty smoothly. I don't know. I feel like. I definitely should have left the house earlier, although I did wake up earlier. Um, Cause I like when it's nice and sunny and all that jazz. But yeah, this lighting though is make my skin look so textured. I don't like that. Hey y'all, I'm in Walmart right now. Um. I'm really just looking for a memory card. I might pick up a few other stuff because I do need some stuff and it's like, I might as well since I'm already in here. I don't like rushing, so I feel like when I have more time, then I'll come grocery shopping. I feel like I'm too overdressed for grocery shopping right now. <laughs> it's like, girl. Ooh, I always wanted one of those plants. You know, like the really like big plants, you know, that you have in the background. I really always want those. I feel like greenery. It just lights up the base, but I don't know. I don't have the setup for that right now. I still need to figure out where I'm going to put those pictures in my damn room. So I really shouldn't even be looking for nothing like that. I'm at the video department. You know, like the, the techie stuff, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to see y'all soon. I don't want to vlog the whole time while I'm in here. Y'all know I, like, I've been trying to use like aluminum-free natural deodorant. So I'm going to try one. I actually want to try the natives one. The coconut and vanilla i actually seen kyra use this but my friend also recommended this to me too so i really want to try this one it's paraben free aluminum free y'all yeah, know i'm weird i like picking the one that's like that look brand new that hasn't been used or nothing i guess this one i had to make sure but yeah this is a native coconut and vanilla i'm gonna get one they're a little pricey though but if you wanted like a cheaper brand, they also have um, the Tom's brand. They also have one or the Equate brand from Walmart. So yeah, I'm going to try that. 
I also got a few couple things like some baby wipes. I got some alcohol and you know my memory card. So I need to get, ooh, Walmart got the little press on nails, okay. From LA Colors, look guys. Oh, they're stepping it up. Maybe I should buy one so I could try it. You know, I'm gonna buy one because only what, $5.98? I'm gonna buy some. These are the cutest ones. They have marble too, but these are cute. I'm gonna try them. Or should I get these? I don't know why I'm asking y'all that y'all can answer right now, but whatever. I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get both. What else? I need toilet paper. And then I think we could leave. Yeah. Okay, so I am back home and I just wanna show you real quick what I got from Walmart. I don't know if you guys care, but um, I'm gonna show you anyways because why not, you know? I wanted to get more groceries, but like I said, um, I didn't really go there to like grocery shop or like just get a memory card. Um, I like to do my grocery shopping like on a totally separate day and just that. But I needed some stuff and I was like, I might as well because prices at Walmart is way cheaper than the Publix, as you know. So yeah, I just got me some organic eggs or whatever the case may be. I personally prefer the brown organic grade A eggs, you know, um, cage free. I say grade A because they're A plus. I mean, they don't have no um, probiotics. I mean, they don't have any antibiotics. They don't have any of that, you know, that stuff. They're like, you know, homegrown, organic. Then, as you guys know, I absolutely love to make my like protein shakes and I love to add oatmeal inside. It's the only time I do eat oatmeal. I don't eat oatmeal any other time. I just like it dry either in my yogurt with fruit or in my protein shakes, blend it up, you know, just a little peanut butter and stuff like that. So right now I go through a lot of oatmeal. Um, personally, I just like it because it makes you feel really full and it's like an easy way to add like, you know, some grain into your body and fill you up without eating a lot. Then I end up getting these Thomas English muffins. These are the cinnamon raisin ones. I absolutely love cinnamon raisin. Mm, it just smells so good. It just reminds me of like when I was younger. I used to really like the Pepperidge Farm bread. So I end up getting this and I love the toasters with um, toasters and then drizzle some honey on top. It is so good. Like, ugh. Or you could also try this with um, peanut butter on top and then some honey and then throwing like a little bit of um, like sunflower seeds and like cranberry, basically like, you know, a little trail mix on top of that. And then for my vegan burgers, I like to use this type of hamburger bun bread and this is the Dave's Killer Bread. Basically it has 21 whole grains in seeds, six grams of protein, 280 ala omegas and omega threes and it has no high corn syrup fructose. We got that, that's all the food stuff I ended up getting. And then for like little personal items and stuff, I'm gonna show y'all. So when I was in the store, I ended up seeing these LA Colors Lavish Nails. These are the Lux Nail Finish Kit. Um, basically it comes with school, a nail file, da, 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 da. There was two styles I was looking at, but I only ended up getting one. Cause I was like, well, I'll just get both. But I was like, to be honest, the style of nails that I like now is so different. Um, so I decided to get these. And they're basically pink ombre with like little diamonds on top. They are so cute. So I have never actually like officially tried Preston nails before, like in my adult life. When I was younger, yes, but I haven't tried them on like in my adult. So I'm excited to try these and I would definitely do a video. And these are the long coffin shapes. Yes, they're so cute. And then I end up getting this native deodorant. This is the coconut and vanilla. This is paraben free, aluminum free. I just like the packaging. It's really simple, very clean. What I like about this, you can literally read all the ingredients and it's not too much. Like literally the list is so short of ingredients, like super, super short. They did have some other scents there that I did want to try. However, I'm going to try this one first. This one's really cute. Oh, and I like the little detailing. It has like a cute little heart in the center. I know it's not going to stay like this. Obviously after you use it, it's going to roll off, but I just think that detailing is really cute. For 11 to $12, they better come with all the packaging and marketing and all that. Um, but to be honest, I just like it. It's simple, it's clean, it goes with the aesthetic. It's real, it's real cute, it's giving. So I'm excited to try this. The next thing I got is baby wipes. These are the flushable wipes, you know, to keep your, your girl nice and fresh and your bum bum nice and clean. You know, when you go to the bathroom, number one or two, you know, when you're like fresh all day. Sometimes I even take a few of these, put them in a little Ziploc bag and put them in my purse with me. So, you know, I'm always fresh on the go. Um, you could buy the little small size, but I feel like those aren't really worth it. It's like, 
you're paying two dollars for like a little pack of what and then you can literally get this whole thing for like six eight dollars but yeah i end up getting these from the equate brand i usually use the Publix one the hypoallergenic um nonsense but these aren't um scent free but usually i would get scent free i just i was kind of in a rush and i was just like Ugh, i'm just getting because i need it right away it's funny guys like ever since um i had my surgery i've literally only been using baby wipes it's just more convenient it just keeps everything clean and i felt like when well <laughs> Some of y'all know when y'all have this surgery it's very hard to wipe back there so you're definitely gonna need like something that's easier and just gonna give you like a, a good clean wipe i should say <laughs> so yeah ever since that i've just always been using baby wipes and i don't really use toilet paper anymore like i literally never use toilet paper like, i don't even buy toilet paper but um i end up getting this brand it's called art naturals i end up getting their isopropyl alcohol first aid and stuff first aid antiseptic i got the 70 volume and then i got the 91 percent one and you guys know i am a makeup artist so i do need to keep my area sanitized cleaned my tools my products every single thing so after each and every client i sanitize my tools i wash them i sanitize them with alcohol and also my products and before sometimes i even wipe like although i've already wiped down my seat before sometimes they come i wipe it down again you know because i want everything to be just really nice and clean so i just pour these into a little spray bottle and i keep them sometimes in my um my bag i'll keep one in my purse when i'm going around i can just have some alcohol just to spray um sometimes and then what i like to do also i like to take a little bit of hand sanitizer into like a little travel bottle and i like pour some into here and that way you can um have like a higher strength of hand sanitizer so that's what i like to do try that that's everything that i got and oh yeah one more thing let me get it i did get a memory card this one is from sandis this is their image mate plus and it comes with the you know how it comes with the little mini micro sd and then you pop it into the bigger one the adapter and then you pop that into your, into your um camera or whatever case may be so i ended up getting this this was like not that expensive it was like 23 dollars or so this is full hd video and they also said well the guy at the store also told me like it can shoot up to 4k as well but this camera doesn't shoot in 4k it's like 1080p so i'm getting an extra one i definitely need to find my other memory card because i don't know where i put that like it's crazy but i end up getting this one so yeah that's the one i end up getting that's everything i got from walmart and then i guess i can show y'all my faha in detail I'll just show y'all up close we can do that and that'll be it thank you for watching this portion let's move along now let's go back to my room because i never film in the kitchen ever um so weird filming in here but it's nice and bright still we have a huge window so the lighting is perfect um before it gets too dark so yeah oh oh no i almost forgot one thing i almost forgot so i ended up getting a bottle of champagne this one is the Pinot Grigio California um, from the Sutter, Sutter Home brand. Y'all seen this one, it's from Walmart. Really expensive, it's like $10, but um, it gets the job done. And if not, I got a big bottle, so mission accomplished, right? <laughs> so yeah, I just been enjoying like sipping a little bit of wine before bed or so, it kinda helps me get to sleep in and yeah. Hey y'all, so we're in my room, different setting. Um, what was I gonna say? So remember that conversation we were having earlier about like just carrying yourself more just um, presentably, um, just more put together. So when I went out today, I definitely got a lot of compliments and people definitely noticed. And I feel like, I feel like people don't see that like often, like women just, you know, just out and about all glammed up or whatever case may be. But when I said I got a lot of compliments, I didn't say that just because I wanted to let y'all know like, oh, I got a lot of compliments or my attention. It's more so like, when people compliment you, you, you end up feeling good, you know, you feel super confident. Like, you know, people notice if that's what I'm trying to say. Versus like, if you were just to go out like super normal, you know, like you wouldn't get a lot of stares or you wouldn't get as many like compliments or whatever the case may be. But I'm just saying like, people look at you and they're like, okay, like, she has it together, she's put together. Like people, it's sad to say, but in this world, people are nicer to you based on how you look. It's just how it is, either how you look or who you know, um, and that's just how it works. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but like I said, you always want to 
dress a little bit before you leave the house. Just put on a little something so that way, like I said, you never know who you're gonna meet. You just never know. So I'm really excited to wear it, but I know, like I said, I have to get this altered. This was $155 from Pretty Girl Curves. Okay, so this is Future Me here. So for the Faja, most of their items are in store. A lot of the items you cannot get online, so I will just list it in the description box. I cannot post the link. But like I said, if you guys are ever in Fort Lauderdale or Miami and you like to stop by Pretty Girl Curves, I will leave like the address at the bottom and everything like that so you guys will have it. Yeah. The size that I got was an extra large. The reason why I got an extra large is because of my hip area. I have a 47 inch hip. Um, they were 50.5 at one point, but the swelling did go down, I should say. So I'm not as swollen anymore, but basically this is the Faja. It does have the bones in it. So the bones will kind of keep you, um, you know, give you that nice little shade, that little curve, curvature. Basically, it has the bones like how my um, my waist cincher from Shaped Curvy has it. It has like this really nice little stretchy area for the booty. Your booty sits, and this is short, so when I put it on, it comes up to here, so it it, it stops like right underneath my booty cuff, which is fine with me because I can wear it with like more things. I guess you could say. I like it because the back is nice and tight, and the arm area is tight. Um, before when I got the other one from there. The arm area was really long, so I pretty much had to like tie a knot on it and just work with it. I didn't even get it taken in because I was like, mm, I don't know. But yeah, I absolutely like this one. This one feels really sturdy. She said to machine wash, well she said sorry. She said to hand wash this and air dry it, so do not machine wash it. So that is it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up because my battery is dying. Check the description box. I will link some of these items that I mentioned down below. Whatever I can mention, I will link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to. Why not, right? Like, I know. Comment a unicorn if you made it this far. <laughs> That's what I always say. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit some videos now because um, I'm done for the day. I don't have anything else to do, but... It was definitely really fun spending the day with you guys. And I will see you guys next. If you are, if y'all enjoying this type of videos, like, let me know. Because I'm enjoying making them. <laughs> I feel like if it ain't one thing, it's another. My camera just died. Like, literally all today. It's like either my camera died or my memory was running out of my camera. So now I got three batteries and I have two memory cards. And I just, I just got a new memory card. So I'm happy about that. So that way, um, I know I'm going to keep on having to, like, purchase more and more memory cards as I go. So I definitely need to just prepare myself for that. Um, like I was saying, I enjoy making these types of like vlog style videos for you guys because I feel like it's more intimate and I actually enjoy them. Like I do enjoy doing the makeup tutorials for you as well, but um, y'all know I don't really wear like too much eyeshadow as much as I used to anymore, but I will still be doing looks for you guys like that, of course. And yeah, so I'm about to pour a glass of champagne and like I said, I'm going to edit some videos. So that's what I'm about to do. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.